there, welcome back. Today we are making super incredible, delicious and yummy chewy chewy ginger candy, all from scratch. I want to warn you that it's super chewy, so be careful about your teeth. Let's get started. We need a piece of ginger like this. Uh, you want to peel the skin off as well. You can use a potato peeler. So what I do is I just peel the skin off like this. We need about one tablespoon of ginger juice. This is really the hardest part of making this candy is to grate this ginger. But the good thing is, you don't need a lot. This is all the ginger I'm going to grate. And I'm going to squeeze out the juice from this. Uh, it's because my hands are tired now. <laughs> you can obviously grate more. So, our freshly grated ginger. To get the juice out of the ginger, what I do is, I just use a metal spoon, just a spoon, and then push the ginger to the side. You can obviously use a cheese uh, cloth as well. Good. And just use my fingers. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of water to my freshly grated ginger juice. Besides our ginger juice, we also need one tablespoon of glutinous rice flour. Now the glutinous rice flour looks like this. It's going to give it the super chewiness to the candy. We also need half cup of brown sugar. Now brown sugar will give it our candy this nice brown color to it. Very pretty. And two tablespoons of honey. We're going to put everything in a very small pot. I'm going to bring the mixture to a boil. Mmm, it smells so good. Ginger, brown sugar, and honey. When you see it start to have big bubbles like this, we are going to turn down the heat, gradually adding our glutinous rice flour while stirring at the same time. Make sure it's all mixed well before you put more in. Continue stirring and stirring. Make sure we don't have any flour mix still. We stir for about one minute. And we are going to turn off the heat. Let's get a plate and a piece of parchment paper. A little bit bigger than your plate. And then we're going to pour the mixture onto top. have our candy already. How do you know it's ready? You can peel it off the parchment paper easily. We're going to dust some our trusted cornstarch. <laughs> okay. And a pair of kitchen scissors. It is very well cut, and we're going to cut it. Make sure the edges of the candy got the cornstarch as well, so it won't be sticking. And here are my biggest fans coming to get their. I think they're kind of big, aren't they? I don't want my kids eat that much candy. 
Let's cut them into smaller pieces. <laughs> Isn't your mom mean? Is it spicy? No? <laughs>